still stay with a great because stakeholders in that sector will be gathering in Accra to figure out how to solve challenges along the agriculture value chain. The Ghanaian Farmer Conference, slated for April 26, is in partnership with Joy Business and uh, supported by the National Food Buffer Store Company. Joining me is host and executive producer of The Ghanaian Farmer, a show that airs on Joy Prime. Enyunam Manye, great to have you on our program tonight. Thanks for having me. So, why the need for this conference? Thank you very much once again. So you want to agree with me that for many African countries, agriculture plays a significant role in the development of the economy. Mm. And from last year till now, we've seen a lot of challenges that farmers are facing from, I was just watching the news and where farmers in Nigeria were complaining about drought and how it affected their farm. In a time like this, we are also thinking about food security, how much of food we can produce when the rain patterns are becoming unpredictable. Mm. So it has, it has become very important and necessary that we have to bring together farmers and stakeholders in the industry to discuss what do we do. You know, a lot of the farmers also need irrigation at this moments when the rain patterns cannot be predicted but you agree with me that smallholder farmers also cannot afford these irrigations on their farm so meeting together with the stakeholders would give us or would afford us the opportunity to find ways and means to help the smallholder farmers so um the call for the Ghanaian farmer conference is in the right direction because we are at a point where if care is not taken we might find ourselves wanting and this is a time where from Eastern, Northern, Central Africa, they are all battling it out. Even the UK is also looking for, uh, you know, countries that can supply them with food. So I think that a moment like this is very necessary for us to gather and discuss the development challenges that are confronting the agricultural sector in right. Ghana and the way forward. So uh, which stakeholders in the agri sector are attending? Excellent. So one of the stakeholders which you just mentioned happened to be the buffer stock. Mm. We know that when it comes to keeping food for not just students but also for other people, the buffer stock is in charge of that. So we want to know from their end what is happening, what is new with them, what are the challenges, what do they need government to you know hear and come to their aid. We also have uh, somebody, Dr. Befi, we have Dr. Befi from CSIR Crop Research Institute. You know, when it comes to one of the means for a farmer to have a good harvest has to do with, you know, the quality of seed okay. that you'll go and plant at the end of the day. So we have Dr. Befi representing the CSIR. Uh, I don't know if you know about the Ghana Agriculture Insurance Bureau. For many years, 10 years, they have been in existence. But about close to 80% of farmers, especially with the smallholder farmers, know nothing about them. So I met with a general manager recently to find out more about this institution, how they can help farmers in times like this. These are some of the things they come to cover. You know, the claims cover uh, drought, pest infestation, and all that flood. Recently, I got a call from Koforidia, a smallholder farmer who was crying to me about how flood, you know, destroyed his two-acre farm. And I am sure if he knew about this company, he would have run to them to insure his company. So he would be attending. We also have Dr. Charles Naba, who is a farmer and, and member of the Peasant Farmers Association. Okay. He would be there to also share a word or two. So we have the Ghana Commodity Exchange CEO, she would also be there, and a lot more people. And that's will be very there rich. For us to deliberate on the way forward and development of Ghana's agriculture sector. I, I just have barely a minute with you. Uh, tell us what impact you hope to make at the end of the conference. So um, the impact is just to um, ensure that this will not be just one of the conferences that bring people together and just talk, talk, and at the end of the day, nothing happens. We hope that these stakeholders coming together with farmers would bring about a redefining movement in Ghana's agricultural space. We hope they hit the call of farmers. We hope that whatever they are coming to promise those farmers, it will be done so that by the end of this year or by the end of the harvest season, somewhere around May, June, farmers will smile 
they will not be frowning their face, they will not be crying because it is time for farmers to also at every harvest season do something, you know, better at the end of the day. So I want to say a big thank you to Joy Business for coming on board to support us pull this conference together. And you know, Manya, host of the Ghanaian Farmer, I'm sure we'll be talking a bit more as the days go by, 26th of April at the Coconut Grove Regency Hotel. Exactly. At 9 a.m. Exactly. Thanks. Thanks so much. Thank you very much for having me. Right. Uh, you, you